so the floor is yours. Go ahead. I think one of these mics belongs to them, does it not? Or do they not get them? No, you should have them. Oh, you mean just, uh, just stand, stand up and yell. And I mean, it's yell. Yeah, because we and a couple people had really great questions when I was out there, and I asked them. Oh, they did. Oh, we can we can repeat the question too. Yeah, if, uh, other people can't hear. Can hear. Uh, we can't hear them. We're just, we're just, we're just, but slide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So once again, you're the only person on the podium who hasn't slept with Sunny. I. <laughs> I will take that to my grave. <laughs> Whisper that in Ron's ear. Go, go, go. Oh That's not good. No, no, here, here's the scene. She has a sex scene with Sunny, and then she takes off the mask and she's face on. That could be done. Oh my god, can you imagine Sunny's face? He'd be like, oh. Yeah, he'd be throwing up in the toilet. <laughs> That's awesome. The crying game. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead. It really depends on the story, um, you know, like uh, last week was four four days and then next week none, so it just wow. depends on how the story goes. Yeah. yeah, and last week I was, well I'm every day for like the next three weeks, but then but then we're off for two weeks, okay. and then I'm two days when we come back. So it just really, if your story's heavy, and, and the way these guys tell story, and it, it really is like, a, it'll be a lot, and then you could like, Crickets. <laughs> is she still on the show? Yeah, right? <laughs> but it's great because then we get to like work hard and, and really get invested and then get to be with our families. But that, so that's, what, it, yeah. that's what happens, uh, the way that Ron writes his stories, he writes in sort of cycles. Yeah. But then if you, if you go on vacation during two weeks and you go to the store setting and get tanned, the storyline? Uh, we, don't get, the, the, we don't get tanned now. Yeah, we don't get tanned. <laughs> Not at this point. Like, it, all it, it was in prison, but Laura got her hair done. <laughs> Every woman in prison looks great, especially Donna Mills. Like, I, I mean, now what I really wanted, I wish for, that everyone looked like shit and that Donna looked great. Like that would have been hilarious. That everyone looked like kind of, in, you know, dirty hair and everything. And then, and then Donna was like, "Hi." Hey. Okay. What happened? The last time I was there, I got there was a note from the booth that Maura, you know, had too much color on her lips. That was, and I had scenes with Donna the ones that aired. And I was like, "Well, wait, just a second. <laughs> They won't say a word to Donna. Uh -huh. no, no. <laughs> and yes, she is that beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That in the hallway, you sort of, oh. yeah, you stop. She looks too perfect. She is yeah. so perfect. I avert, I, I, I avert my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. <laughs> she's, she's as nice, as good as she looks. Like, it's the whole thing. You're like, you're not even a little bit of Abby from that side? No. <laughs> not even a little. Not even a little. Right here. Hi, my name is I'm just wondering, like, when your family watches, not even so much your husbands, but I'm sure, but how for your kids to see you guys in the scenes? My kids don't watch the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really don't? What about yours? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. No, no, my, my husband uh, and my second son watched the show, my second son Joe, I think a lot of you know is, yeah. is quite a, I mean he's a very fabulous actor himself and um, so he, and they, they're like Ava fans, the, the, they were fans of the show but they really, so yes he does watch the shows and you know I guess because he's an actor himself it doesn't matter, it's not like you know, oh, I saw mommy kissing <laughs> Yeah, even the little one who happens to, if it's on, because I watch them too. I think that there's a lot of, there's two schools of thought, I think, for actors. I don't know how you ladies feel, but a lot of actors and actresses don't watch their own show. They do it and they go home and they, they love doing it. And they're very but detached from it when they get there's, home. But there's something shy about them or something. And there are certainly certain scenes that I don't watch. There, those scenes with Sunny that my, my, should I just say my, my crip sex? In the crib, please. In the crib. Weren't you all teenagers and, didn't you? Nobody in a nope. graveyard? Come on! No, no the one had crip yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> no, the graveyard. No, the cemetery <laughs> sex, but it's like maybe not crip. Same right. difference. <laughs> but those I didn't, I didn't watch, because sometimes I, I really am kind of embarrassed. You can embarrass yourself, you know? But for the most part, I think for me, 
you need to check in. I I love watching. I and I love watching the show because it's not all about because me. I completely I have, absolutely I completely yeah I have all these other characters and coworkers and everything that, that fans I love. Of. Like when I see Finola and Ian, I'm like, oh my god. Give me the pop, butter that popcorn. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. I like so when Finola like has kids any kind it. of emotional drama. I think she's like so kick-ass, strong female character on the show. Yeah. Like, like, like when you had that Ghana face on, and that is so hard. I can tell you, when when you get a script where there's masks and over-the-top <laughs> shit involved, and you get to find ground, and you, you find your ground in it and make it real, because that's really difficult for uh, you know, and. You know, I'm not going to say names or other shows or anything because you watch some stuff, all of us, and we kind of go, oh, that was just, well, I'm sorry for them. <laughs> you know, um, but then you watch people and you're like, they fucking made that work, man. They, they pulled it from here, found a reality that they based in it. And that's what I love when you had that gun to phase on and you were in his face and you had a tear coming out and you were like, and, and other people, and you know what it was was so great is that you went there. Like people get afraid to, to go, like halfway is, is I don't want to say failure, but it, it falls apart. When you go 20 times past, it's brilliance. And that's where you have to go. And if we don't raise the bar on the stakes, then you don't believe it. Right. And, and I love, because I love that Fanola commits 100% to that. She does, and she works hard. Like you hear on the overhead. They want me in the green room and run lines? You want to run lines? And it's, because like we have no time on set, so we want to mark anything that has to be marked, at least like blocking-wise, so then we can let it go. Yeah. What's that mean, blocking? Blocking is when uh, the the director comes and tells you where he wants you to stand because we oh, have well, such well, such little time the that the cameramen have to get their shots so they know where an actor is going to be. I have to say though, back in the eighties, um, nobody did their blocking at all, and um, the cameraman just literally had really? to. Yeah. Wow. The, the, the really? Yeah. Was that on my children or John Hustle? John Hustle. Um, and they just literally had to follow the actors. I mean, because I mean, that we would be given blocking. That is not the case now, no, but, no. but now we're so tight that we just have to, you know, we have to be exactly where we are so that the lighting can be set. You know, there's no time to light in between. Shots. I have but, but, but I have to say though, what I like about that for me is, is it challenges me. Like especially, if, you know, to find a reason to stand. Or if, to get, if my ego is like, well, why would I do that? 